Hello crafty friends, my name is Alicia but you can call me Crafty Owl and it is time for my monthly video where I show you what came in my P.O. box. I hope you'll stick around and see all of the beautiful creations. Each month I like to stop by and share a look with you at what came in my P.O. box for the month. This used to be a strictly show us your sheet load feature video, but more and more I just get cards just because. Now if you're ever interested in sending me a card, my P.O. box is at the bottom of the description box. And I also have a show us your sheet load guidelines video linked that tells you how you can share your sheet load with me and the rest of our viewers. You can do that here on YouTube, over on Instagram, or you can send in a card for the end of the month video. And all of those guidelines are outlined there. If you would like to see what viewers are creating on YouTube and Instagram, I will have a link to the monthly hashtag in the description box. I know that they would love for you to stop by, see what they're creating, and leave them some love. Why don't we go ahead and open this mail? Before we get to the mail, I do have a special channel member shout out. I would like to say welcome and thank you for joining the Paper Trimmer Level membership to Diane Pentecoff. Your support is greatly appreciated and I hope you enjoy the little perks. Thank you as well to all of my channel members who keep me creating here on YouTube and sheet load free for all. If you're ever interested in finding out more about the perks of channel membership, I do have a link in the description box below. Now let's get that mail opened. Sandy S. from Minnesota sent me this beautiful Christmas card and instructions and diagrams on how to recreate it. I am definitely going to give that a try. Thank you, Sandy. And since it looks so cute when it stands up, I thought I would let you see that as well. Tanya B. from Utah sent me this adorable snowman card. Not only is it a clear card, but there was also a sweet note inside and a coordinating envelope. Thank you, Tanya. Beth J. from Florida shared two sheet load cards this month, November and December 2022, and she also sent me this cute die cut snowman and a nice note. I hope you enjoyed Christmas with your kids, Beth. Renee P. from Tennessee sent me this beautiful holiday card. I love that sparkly little gift. And then kind of fun on the inside, their signature was on a separate tag adhered with some washi tape so you could remove it and pass along the card. I've seen this same concept with either scrap paper or sticky notes before, but I thought a tag was a fun idea for a holiday card. Thanks, Renee. Penny P. from Kansas sent me this cute winter card with such a sweet note inside. She also included a little envelope filled with some tags and other die cut goodies. It almost reminds me of the loaded envelopes Danny taught me how to make earlier this month. Thank you so much, Penny. Marta G. from Puerto Rico sent me this beautiful thank you card. You can't really tell on camera, but it is so sparkly and shiny. Thank you for the kind note inside, Marta, and it's so awesome that you are now donating cards that you made using sheet load. Thanks for sharing that. Charlene J. from North Carolina used the December 2022 sheet load to make this pretty Christmas card. I like the placement of her sentiment and that pretty layered poinsettia. Lori K. from Minnesota also used December 2022 to make a Christmas card. It came with a nice note inside and I am loving the sparkly Santa and sleigh on the front. Karen W., who is probably just down the road from me here in Nebraska, sent in a thank you card using December 2022. She had a nice note inside, and I love how she has rotated the sketch for her cards. 
Vicki R. from Oklahoma sent me this adorable holiday card. I am loving those huge Christmas lights on there. I don't know about you, but whenever I see those huge lights you can put out in your yard or like the huge ornaments, I always want to get them. So this is perfect. Thanks, Vicki. Trish S. from Tennessee sent me this lovely Christmas card that uses March 2022. I love the sparkle on that music paper and the little pops of color. Michelle A. from Arizona also used December 2022 to send me a Christmas card. I love those papers and the fun shape of her sentiment banner. Thanks, Michelle. Heather H. from New York took the time to send me a Christmas card with a little note inside. Thank you for the holiday wishes and I am so glad that you enjoy Sheet Load. Brenda L. from Washington sent me this stunning holiday card. I know that you cannot see it on camera at all, but all of the matting is foiled cardstock and it just shines so brightly. Thank you so much Brenda for the card and the nice note. Kathy W. from New Hampshire used one of my favorite sheet loads ever, July 2021, for this adorable holiday card. I love those papers and that adorable little penguin. Carol from Indiana sent me this beautiful holiday card. I love just how simple and elegant it is with the white and the sparkly navy. Thank you, Carol. Yvonne K. from Wisconsin sent in two cards this month. The one on the left was a beautiful Christmas card for me, and on the right was a thank you card. If you didn't watch last month's Show Us Your Sheet Load, I discovered that she had a YouTube channel. Um, I will link it again below so you can go check it out. Joan O. from Denmark sent me an envelope that was stuffed with goodness. Not only did I get a beautiful Christmas card with fun gold accents, but she also sent a sheet load inspired by December 2022. I love that soft color palette and how she always includes matching envelopes. Thank you, Joan. Speaking of stuffed envelopes, the next one from Carmen B. of Colorado was also filled to the brim. Inside were two examples using the December 2022 sheet load of cards, and these were just gorgeous with their copper accents. Now, speaking of Carmen, if you didn't already see the announcement, she is going to be joining our team in 2023. I will link the announcement video below, which has some other collaboration team changes in it, so you can check it out if you haven't already. And then inside of the little bubbles, which I will have to pop those later, thank you, Carmen, were some goodies that were left over from her craft fairs. So many cute examples of crafts you could sell. There was a little box with chocolates, the calendar with the easel, which I thought was brilliant to have that, and then lots of fun different hand sanitizer holders, which you can always use some extra hand sanitizer, and my daughter also enjoys using these. Thank you so much, Carmen and I'm looking forward to 2023 with you on the team. Karen C. from Virginia surprised me with an extra little gift in her package this month. It did include all of her rewind cards from December 2019, 2020, and 2021. And then inside of the package were these wonderful square glass ornaments. And look closely at those sentiments. They are all crafty and each one of them kind of speaks to me. I'll show you here one out of the package. You can see they're sparkly white and she has used my favorite color for the vinyl. Thank you so much, Karen. I cannot wait to put these on my Christmas tree next year. I am almost speechless at the end of today's videos. Not only did you all show me some beautiful sheet load examples and send in lovely Christmas cards with so many wonderful nice notes. Now in a regular month, I get a few cards that have really like notes that kind of tug at my heart. 
but this month, like so, so many. So thank you to everybody who took the time to send in a card with such a wonderful little note to me. I'm glad that you enjoy my channel, Sheetload, our little community. And thank you as well to those who sent in beautiful gifts for me. These will be treasured. And now that the holiday season is over, I will definitely be on the hunt for a discount tree for my craft room so I can start displaying all of the ornaments that Karen sent me and that others have sent me in the past. Until my next video, which will be tomorrow, the year-end sheet load recap, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.